Hi, Jack from Jungle here today. Today I'll be teaching you how to juggle four balls as well as some of my favorite four ball tricks. Here we go. In my last video of this series, three balls, I taught you how to juggle two balls in one hand. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go into the description below and click the link. And then watch the first few minutes until you get to doing two in one hand. When you're done that, come back to this video. And let's get started. By now you should know two in one hand. It's a simple pattern. Just throwing one over the other, depending on which way you're going. Just so and basically throw one up, catch it, after throwing another one, keep going. I have more in my three ball video, which again is in the description below. If you haven't watched that already, please watch it. It's better to learn the number under it before doing the next number. Okay, here we go. So you can do it in your dominant hand, which for me is the right. Uh, can you do it in your non-dominant hand, which for me is the left? Once you can do it, like solid in both hands. this, then you're ready to start. One exercise that I like to do is where you juggle two in one hand, have another ball in the other hand, throw the other one over to the other hand and keep going. I'd like to try to get about ten catches and then switch and then ten catches and switch. Now, here, four balls. How do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. You do two balls in one hand in your right hand, and two balls in one hand in your left hand, and then you combine them together, do them at the same time. Pretty simple, isn't it? Here's another pattern for four balls. This one is the one that most people learn first when they're going to get the first four catches. It's called sink. It's because you're throwing two throws in sink. Like this. Most people do it for until they get up to maybe eight catches or so because of for longer runs, space sync is easier. You can do it as long as you like. But once your hands get out of sync, it often converts into async, which is the kind I taught you earlier. Again, just combining them, throwing two up, two up, two up, two up. Here's another pattern. This pattern is called the Wimpy Pattern. It's often the easiest to do a pattern, and although most people don't use it, it's for even numbers only. Okay, now we're going to drop two of the balls for now. There. Throw two up, like this. Try to throw one under the other. Now do now, incorporating it into both ends. like this. Yeah, just go across like this, across like this, and you're done. And you can continue on as long as you like. Here's the next pattern. Next pattern is called the half shower. You can do it either in async or in sync. I prefer the sync because of doing even ball half shower async has always messed me up. Like this. I know how to do it. You need to be able to throw the balls like this. Now, do this. 
Now, pick up the other two balls and go. There you have it. Acing, just go left, right, left, right. Sorry. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Continue on until you're done. Here's our next pattern. The shower is the hardest four ball pattern to learn. You should know the half shower in both sink and a sink before doing it. So where you throw up like this. You should definitely know the three ball shower. How to train for it? Well, you have three balls in the one hand, you go try doing this until you can do it every time. Then, add another one in this hand, and go. It's like the three ball shower, you're passing the one across. It is very hard to do because of the one throw. It took me two years, or was it one year, to get to doing it with three. Four was pretty simple, and five... I think I've gotten six or seven catches of it. You can count the lower catches if you wish as catches. I don't because of I follow the juggle wiki standards counting and they don't use the lower catching and <laughs> lower catches shower patterns. <laughs> okay. Now here are some cool tricks. Such as under the leg, over the top. Here are some cool tricks and how to do them. Over the top. Just throw one over and one under. Like this. It's kind of hard to explain how to do it. You throw one over the top of the patterns and then have the other arm throw one under across. The over is equivalent to a five throw and the under is is equivalent to a three throw. So, five, three, and back and four. Five, three, back and four. Juggling, and juggling, you learn by doing. So, that's why my explanations are a little brief. Okay, under the leg. Right. Two balls in your non dominant hand. So, you go under, well, in my case, my dominant leg is my dominant hand, so the opposite leg. Alright, once you can do that a bit better than I did there. Somewhat like that without the drop. Uh -huh. So ignore this hand on the right or, or on the left, whatever. It's doing its default movement and then simple. Once you've got it. Okay. Well, this trick isn't really a trick for me, but I can't do it very well. And claw. Just claw. Two and one hand. In each hand. I'm not very good at doing it, but it's not exactly impossible. Okay. Reverse. Reverse is mostly done reverse wimpy, which is throwing everything over instead of under. But you can also do it reverse sync, reverse async, depending on which way you do your half shower or half shower. Reverse any pattern really. Just do the opposite. And also, four ball split multiplex. This one's cool. You're throwing one across. How do you, you have two here? Throw one here. At one hand, you want to have two, and the other one, you want to have one. You throw one. The hand which has two is always alternating, or which throws two. Or you could do it 
the way I used to do it, just have one hand, your dominant hand that has two in it, and then do it like this. Just keep throwing one over from the other hand, throwing two from the other hand, splitting like this to go to both hands. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw and learned some cool new tricks for four balls, or perhaps learned how to do four balls for the first time, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment any questions, tutorial requests, or trick requests you have in the comments below. Happy juggling.